Hello and welcome to another episode of Subculture Recall. And this weekend is the start of Hispanic Heritage Month and Mexican Independence Day. It's a great time to learn about Hispanic heritage, whether you're black, white, Asian, or you're Hispanic wanting to learn more about your own culture. And I know even as a Mexican born immigrant, I still have a lot to learn about my own culture. So today I wanted to share with you the time that my friend Vanessa and I went to the Frida birthday celebration. I wasn't expecting so many people to be there. People were having a great time, they were drinking, eating food, listening to music, checking out the art, and it was, it was so much fun. I met amazing people there and they told me why they come together each year and celebrate Frida Kahlo and her life's work. My name is Lupita Medina Villa and I'm the president and CEO of ALAC, the Arizona Latino Art and Cultural Center. We wanted to make sure that we celebrated her birthday, her actual birthday, which is today, July 6th. And uh, we took a little bit part of her life. And so we wanted to show people how they can incorporate a little bit of Frida in their life every day. So we did some fun stuff, just like makeovers and having girls, they came dressed in jeans and t-shirts, put a little flower in their hair, a cool bag, and to show them how they can carry that look. We will also talk a little bit about her strength and her courage. These little girls right here, there's a 10 year old right here that knows who Frida is and knows about her life. And you know, you wanna carry that culture and that understanding of her life and how courageous she was, not only as an artist, but as a woman. I want people to know that she was an amazing artist. I think people know that when they, they see it and she, tell, she told her story through her art, but I think that she was a trailblazer, that she was powerful and that uh, she was strong, but she was also very compassionate, very forgiving of people and uh, their mistakes. So you wanna say, you know, uh, so I think uh, she was an overall very well-rounded, powerful Latina. Definitely something we want to do every year. I mean, we have events out of lock all the time. We have a huge event coming on September, but this is something I definitely want to keep doing. I want to share our culture, and I want to make a promise that people can come here, learn, benefit from, and hopefully express and find it that they have their own little talent hidden somewhere. <laughs> This is my friend Perla and, and so she kind of told me a little bit more about the celebration and stuff. It's my first time here um, and so it was a lot of fun. I loved running into you. Yeah, it me was too. Awesome. I know. My name is Perla and I came to the Frida birthday bash today at Alak because I have heard great things about this place and I had never gotten a chance to come and I really love Frida and I thought what better time to come for the very first time than for her birthday bash. I think one thing I really like is the the ambiance, you know, the people, like just to know that there's so many people here that appreciate Frida and her work and her life. My name is Erin Sukar. I'm here to spend time with my friend Maria. And I've always loved Frida Kahlo. I learned about her when I was 19. I'm now 45. My name is Maria Chacon. I'm a teacher with Erin. With we work at the same school. And she invited me to come today and I love the event. It looked like a lot of fun. They had the mole, they had um, all the artwork. It was a good excuse to dress up. We were talking earlier about like the need for women role models, the need for female role models. And even back then in the 1940s, 1950s, what an exceptional role model she was. When I was growing up, I'm 45 now, there wasn't really uh, any very much discussion of Cesar Chavez or Frida Kahlo or any of the Mexican-American icons that we have now. I didn't know about Frida or learn about Frida until I got to college and one of my professors uh, gave us a whole lecture on Frida and I was just enthralled with the authentic person that she was 
and the way that she expressed herself. You could look at her from a feminist perspective, you could look at her from a socialist perspective. She's a remarkable human being. Self-expression on that level, just finding your own voice and finding what's true for yourself. I mean, she's inspiring on so many levels, so to me it doesn't really matter what your politics are. Um, you can find something about Frida Kahlo that you can connect with and be inspired by. Anak is an incredible resource. You can come here and see names of valley artists who are still alive, who produce incredible work, and this is the perfect place to celebrate somebody like Frida. I hope you guys liked this video and learned a little bit more about my favorite artist, Frida Kahlo and continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. There must be events out here in Phoenix. Let us know in the comments below how you guys celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and we'll see you on the next adventure. Adios.